Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be making another terrain. I saw that my last video popped up so I thought why not let's make another one and import it to Roblox. So let's get started. First off let's take a cube. We can scale it down. Let's scale it inwards as well. Then we can select this face. Press I to intrude and then press S and Y just like so. Then you can press E uh, like that and you can actually drag this face down since this is going to be a sand dungeon or a hole what you may say it just like so or actually we can drag this a bit up yeah we can do that so select this face and this face then press on G and Z just like so all right we have this part and then we need to create an entrance so we can make two loop cuts so one here and another one here and I'm just pressing double G to drag these around. Let's just make another one there. And then you can press select this and press X and faces. Now you can drag this using double G. If you want to do it an easier way, because this is quite, this will take quite some time. Then you can get another cube, just like so. Scale it down, press G, just like so. Press S and Y, just like that. G and Z, here you go. And now you can select this. You can add modifier and you can add the boolean modifier. And, uh, for the object, you can select this cube and then click on differentiate and click apply. There we go. There we have that. And now you can make uh, some sand piles. As this is going to be in the sand, we need some sand piles. So we'll just grab a plane and you can scale this over here. Then you can subdivide. Subdivide, 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 just like so. You can go to wireframe mode, just cut these pieces off. This is just like so. And then you can do this here. And now you can use proportional editing, just like that. Now you can go to modifiers, click on solidify modifier, and increase the thickness, just like that. Just play around this with, with this for a while. G and Y, there we go. G and Y here as well. Move this up. It looks more like sand, just like so. Alright, then you can uh, double right click or right click and click on shade smooth and then go over here and then click on normals and click out smooth. There we go. Now it looks better. And now you can create some fences as well. So let's just take a simple cube, press S, scale it down, press S and Z to scale it up, press G to move it around. There we go. And now you can uh, click on R to rotate it a bit, scale it up a bit. And then press E and S. And then you can press E just like so. And then you can add another one over here. And then you can add another one over here. There you go. And you can make some ropes in between these. So take a loop cut like so. Make a loop cut between these as well. Just like so. And now make a loop cut here. For how thick you want the rope to be. Just like that. And then you can select this and press E and S. There you go. And now you can click on this and start making the rope shape just like that. You can go to vertex select, just move this around a bit, just like so. There you go. Now you can go over here and do the same thing. So select this, press E and S, just like so. You can move it there. So just do it uh, in this side and this side as well. All right, just like so. And then you can make a simple plane. Uh, this fast. And we can make this a bit triangular. Do this. Uh, actually you can just put the magnet to them, then press A, M and by distance, just like so. And just scale this down, put it here, put it down, just like so. And just touch it towards the rope, press E and X, and then select these, and press G. Just drag it down a bit, just like that. And then you can move it a bit to the right. And do the same thing, so just rotate it like that. And you can do the same thing over here, just drag it here, rotate it like this, move it down. And now you can get another plane, and then subdivide it just like that. And then you can move it over here, subdivide it once more, move it here. And you can put on proportional editing, and then you can drag this down just like so, drag it down just like so. And you can create some simple rocks very fast, so just take a UV sphere. Uh, add modifier, and add decimate modifier, and just decimate uh, like this. Then you can just move these rocks around a bit, make them a bit flat, just like so. And then you can also take some cubes, move them over here, 
click on SMY, it's like so. We can make a log, so this SMY, and then press I to intrude and E to extrude, and I to intrude and E to extrude, it's like so. And then you can create a loop cut. Let's scale this down a bit, just like so. You can go up to wireframe and just select this part and click P selection. There you go. Now all you have to do is import this into Roblox. So just select all of it, click on file export and select FPS and name it whatever you want. So I will just name mine sand model. Click on selected objects and export FBX. Alright, and now in Roblox you're going to click on bulk import. And then select your model, click on open, click on apply, and then it's going to import. Once it has been imported, select these, like so, and click on insert with location. Alright, and now you can move it up. You can click on double sided. There we go. And for the sand, you can make it a sand color, just like that. And then for this, you can make this a brown. Make this as well a brown. Make this a brown. And a light brown, light brown. Let's choose dark orange. Dark orange here, dark orange here, for the row and make it blue, just like so. You can make this red, just like that. And you can take some of these rocks, make them like a dark gray color. You take this sandbox, make this that color. And you can just place these around here, like so. And then for these logs, you can create dark orange for these as well. Well, that's how you make a simple look in Roblox Studio. Thank you everybody for watching and I will see you for more. Goodbye.